this video is going to be about the GI viscera. So I'm going to start with the organs of the foregut. This is the stomach uh, connected to the greater omentum and the lesser omentum. This part of the stomach is the fundus supplied by branches of the splenic artery. This area of the stomach is the greater curvature and the left side of the greater curvature and the right side are having different arterial supplies from the splenic artery and from the gastroduodenal artery. This is the body of the stomach. And then towards the end here is the pylorus pyloric region of the stomach. And in this area, there's a sphincter that allows for flow of the contents of the stomach from the stomach to the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. So pylorus would be about here, and then the sphincter would be located about this region. This area here is the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. Gross anatomically, it is difficult to decipher which part of the small intestine is the jejunum and which is the ileum. So collectively, we call this the jejunoileum. So this is all of the small intestine where digestion and absorption takes place. Now I'm going to leave it to the left, to the right side of the cat so that I can place the colon here for viewing. This is the ileum here. And at the beginning of this piece, you have the cecum here, cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon. So it's about maybe an inch of ascending colon maybe an inch and a half of transverse colon, and then about perhaps four inches of descending colon. So four gut viscera are up here and they're associated structures such as the liver, the gallbladder, and the spleen. The mid gut is mostly the small intestine and then the hind gut starts at about the halfway through the transverse um, colon. And in the next video, I will show you guys the arteries and veins of the GI.